You got a nickname? Uh, Will. Will. Some coach Will, some coach Will. Look at my I understand you, you performed a couple weeks ago, last week. I mean, could you tell the audience a little bit about the. Uh, I'm in uh, Columbus, Ohio with my, with my new group. My new group is uh, after bands from Florida, after bands from Georgia, the Sugarfoot, Ohio players. And I performed in Columbus, Ohio, which is uh, at a park, and it was, it was about 6,000 people there. It was, it was really something you knew. <laughs> yes, I did, yes. Yeah, but, but it was very good. I, I heard a lot about this concert. Uh, it was a Bicentennial Park. It's a Bicentennial Park, which is a very beautiful park. I mean, it floored me as like an adult park. An adult park, okay, yeah. okay. Yes, I looked at it. So this new band that you talk about, uh, so how long have you been with this band? I mean, something I've been with you for? about four or five years now. That's how fast time has been since I saw you and since things have happened. You know, like, like I said, things have happened. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, since you was gone, I put this together and we've been touring all over the world, believe it or not. Okay. And uh, people are not really aware of it that... Uh, that I had my own band. I sure for Ohio players is a little different than the Ohio players, but but it is different. I'm I'm happy. Okay, sounds good. We always want to be in that state of mind. Um, with some of the new members, I mean, you mentioned that they were from out of town. I mean, Georgia and yeah, some other states. Yeah, but I don't want to mention. I don't want to mention them all because it's a lot of them. Okay, about ten guys. But one of the main people that I work with is Trey Pierce. And Trey Pierce is one of the guys who's uh, been the uh, five line bar, five line bars for a long time. And uh, he managed to uh, make me go back to work. And I really, I really felt good about that. So I made him get along just perfectly, you know. Uh, he's Pisces and I'm Pisces. And we have a great time and we, and we have a great show. And uh, I really have to say something about him because he's my band director. Now he takes care of everything. I and mean, he's, he's the best, the best, the best. Okay. Sounds like a pretty good relationship there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. My, my, group has, my group makes sense. Okay, I heard that. <laughs> and that makes the world of sense. So. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, how has things changed from, say, 15 years ago to now as far as uh, the fans, I mean, how they react to the music. The fans, the fans are just truly, I mean, truly blowing me away because I never thought that people cared that much about it. But they are proving to me that they really love me in a way more than just music. And that makes me feel like the fans can't, I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Good thing. Come on. Yeah, because your music, man, I mean, it's, it's, it was definitely before its time. Uh, every time I hear any of your music, I mean, it's almost like you know, it just came, uh, you know, out of the studio almost. I mean, it just it has yeah. a newness to it, even yeah. even today. I've been blessed. You know? I've been blessed in ways that I can't even put it in the words, so I won't even try to do that. But I have been blessed in, in the most miraculous way to have music that sounds fresh and young whenever you hear it. Everybody wants to do that. Everybody can do that. And I, I've been blessed. Thank you, Father. Do you keep in touch with any of the old band members of Ohio players? I don't most know of them, I mean, I shouldn't say most of them, some of them, a lot of them are not dead. Okay. Um, that, that only leaves me, Marshall, Diamond, Billy Beck, and the only one that plays out of the whole crowd there is Billy Beck and Diamond. They still try to play. But I never run into them. You know, I, mean, I, try to, try to, I try to be happy doing what I'm doing. It seems like you're pretty content, uh, whether you're out on the road or, you know, say at your home or whatever the case might be. Uh, I guess you have performed over the years, traveling all over the world. I mean, just living out of probably suitcases uh, and out of hotels and stuff like suitcase? that. 
I mean, it works in the suitcase. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah. I, I, and actually, some days I even tell myself that I'm a little tired. Uh -huh. But as soon as, the, as soon as the band hit the first note, I'm ready to go to work. So, this part of being, being I don't want to. I be, I be yawning sometimes. I be complaining. I'm always complaining. Uh, all the way to the stage. But, but I really do love what I do. Ultimately, there's no other way for me to be happy but to play music. So, so I do. Who was one of your big influences as far as uh, musicians when you were coming up? Mm -hmm. There were so many of them. Um, you were talking to a real old man here to uh, ask him a question about 50 years of playing music. So 50 years, I've had a lot of going come people. But when I first started out, Jimmy Reed, Lou Walter, Muddy Waters, Alan, Re Alan Wood, uh, Sonny Boy Williams, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, all of these people were, were there for me to learn, and I learned from all of them. I learned from every one of them. I could play the blues. It's just my foundation of my life. These musicians are based on blues. And uh, if you had something to do with the blues, like Bobby Blue Bland, Johnny Taylor, anybody like that, I know you. I got your name. No, I know you, I know you, I know you. Close, you know, I, I know you. And after that, I, I grew up a little bit. Learned how to play a little more jazz here. Then Miles Davis smacked me in the face. And it's hard to get find other people after Miles Davis. And he's, he's, he's a super lasting hero in my eyes. I can't be touched. And I'll always love Miles Davis more than anybody. But I do like other jazz on this but. Next to Miles Davis, I don't know that much. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you mind giving a shout out to TRD Media Source? Are you gonna look TRD in the camera? TRD Media Source, shout out. That's what I'm supposed. That's what I'm supposed to do. But that was it. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you recommend me? I mean, you, yeah, you recommend oh, me for great videos? Can I can recommend you, but <laughs> 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 no, this is Will. He's my friend. He's the best there is. Give him the job. Doing whatever you want. Can't get no better than that, man. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, uh, Sugar Man. God bless you, man. Uh, and hope I get to see you perform next time you, you get on stage, which um, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to come to Columbus or whatever last week. But uh, well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you tell again. you that I was in Columbus either. But uh, whenever you hear about Surefoot's Ohio players, I expect you to be there. Okay, we'll do it. You know, and that's all that matters. That's all I need to hear. Dude. Thank you. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot, Sugar. And you have a God bless day. Oh, okay. Take care.